Hi, I'm Yun Choi. I'm a PhD student at uh, Tanjigong Media Group at MIT Media Lab. I'm so happy to present our work, Thumbs Up, which introduces a DIY method of fabricating interactive materials and inflatables by upcycling a wasted um, thermoplastic bags. So while we were locked down at home and doing a remote work, especially as a creator and um, crafter and maker of any hardware, um, I was really interested in how to utilizing uh, wasted household objects and materials and repurposing them to turn into any interactive inflatable materials. So, uh, yeah, and then very easily at home. So while I, while I was eating a chip at home, I got a so it's exciting and interesting idea. So what we did was we collected uh, different types of thermal plastic bag consumed by a four-person family uh, over three weeks. And this is a kind of a thermal plastic bag we have been collecting. So it's like a bubble wrap, um, cookie bag, um, shopping envelope, like food delivery plastic bag, and so many um, different types of plastics we've been collecting. And then we explored how to uh, utilizing this thermos plastic using uh, an expensive 3D printer at home to create uh, inflatable and fun material such like this ones. So repurposing wasted material has been explored in HCI community uh, using plastic bottles or three branches and so on and on. And also uh, fashion industry and the other more 3D printer industry also has been have been exploring uh, and put much of efforts on upcycling this plastic material. To be more specific about uh, fabricating the inflatables, sticky actuators, um, Aeromorph and Millimorph utilized, has been utilizing like CNC tools or um, robotic uh, manipulated machines. However, those kind of uh, methods uh, require a specific uh, CNC tools or um, customization of the machine. Also, a study one study introduced a method to utilizing an uh, inexpensive 3D printer to create a different pattern on the thermal plastic bag, but that study only focused on one specific material. Mm -hmm. And here we wanted to expand this uh, scope of the work by introducing a variety of different types of thermal plastic bag that can be easily found at home and using an um, inexpensive 3D printer. So if we look into the details of the plastic bags, it has a multi-layer, um, compo it is a multi-layered composite. So inside there is a sealing material which normally is uh, polypropylene or, or polyethylene and we use that material for heat sealing the two different uh, plastic bags and then to create uh, inflatables or air or fluid uh, channels. And also Next layer has a printed layer uh, which contains a color or any other images to show um, of to as a product. And then um, some plastic bag has also aluminum layer which um, could be used as a sensing layer. By using this wasted thermal plastic bags and the 3D printers, especially the nozzle temperature, we were able to create a different uh, patterns and then um, on textures on a, on a thermal plastic bags, as you can see on this slide. So we explore this new design space um, by controlling the temperature and the speed of the extruder. Uh, we were able to create an embossing, um, like uh, writing a letter on the plastic bag or creating the origami crease patterns and also um, heat sealing the two layers of the plastic bags. And then lastly, by increasing the temperature, we were also able to create a texture patterns, uh, which looks like a kneading on the plastic uh, bags. To create these patterns and inflatable structures, first we transfer the images that we want to print on the plastic bags into a G-code using uh, Inkscape, Inkscape software. 
and then use um, any slicers software that are compatible with the um, FFF type 3D printer. To set up the printer, we put a cardboard under the plastic sheet to create a damper and enough force to heat seal layers and put an aluminum foil on top of the plastic if it's needed. We found that different plastic bags require different printer setup, like adjusting the travel speed, uh, temperature, use of aluminum foil, etc. So we summarized the printer setup for the each categorized material in this table. We also tested the air endurance of each heat sealed materials and you can find more details in the appendix. As I mentioned earlier, we explored to create an inflatable sensor by using the retro food package which contains um, aluminum layer. We think that the introduced method could be applied for quick and cost effective uh, prototyping and developing an educational toolkit and could guide people to upcycle thermal plastic bags in a fun and easy way. For the future work, we hope to explore to apply various functions of 3D printer, such as heat from the print bath and controlling the nozzle diameter. And we hope to develop a UI that allows people to design patterns and G codes that are um, optimized for different types of plastic um, materials. And lastly, we hope to share our case study result of deploying the thumbs up um, material and kit to children uh, soon. So this was it. And thank you for paying attention to our presentation today. And I'd like to have any questions and have a further discussion. Thank you so much.